In this tutorial, I'll teach you to add depth by creating a foreground and a background using the duplicate tool. I'm going to start by zooming out so I can see the whole stage. There. Now it's easier for me to work on my project. I'm going to use the X-Acto knife tool and I'm going to cut out the part of the mountain that I want the miner to jump over. So here I go, I'm cutting out that part of the picture I want the gold miner to jump over. And what this tool does is it actually it cuts it out and it duplicates it. So I have two parts now. I'm going to stick the cut out part on top of the original picture and then reset my stage. Now the miner can now go behind part of the picture, so I, I've kind of made the picture 3D. Next, I'm going to create a rectangle and group it to the miner. Now when I move the rectangle, the miner moves. This makes it easier for me to make the miner come jumping over the mountain. It's too hard for me to move the miner by himself, but it's easy for me to do this. Now I'm going to record the motion of him jumping up and over. Now it didn't look like he went over the mountain, did it? That's because the miner is still behind the mountain and I have to bring him forward. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to delete the rectangle because I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to move the timeline forward and watch. You can see the miner is still behind the mountain, right? I have to go to the Arrange tab and bring the miner forward, bring him to the front, there. Now he's going to go all the way over the mountain. Let's see how that effect looks if I rewind it and play it from the beginning. Nice. A plus right there. 